Hey, how's it going today? And uh, I thought it'd be fun to show you how to create a photorealistic or fairly realistic star field. I was actually playing around with this in a different program and I just happened to notice in uh, the noise textures that there's a starry field in here and I started playing around with it and I was actually very pleased with the results I was able to get. So I thought I'd just for fun show you how you could create something like this. And please keep in mind there's a lot of different ways you can do this. This is just the way that I'm doing it. So feel free to experiment and play around. Let me know if you come up with some settings that work even better than these. To start we just go into Media Generator, we're going to go to Noise Textures and we're going to come to Star sky and there it is now if you print out an image of this you look at it close you'll see that doesn't quite look like a starry sky <laughs> it actually looks like uh, I don't know what it looks like uh, but you can see all these lines and uh, it doesn't quite look like a starry sky so if we make some adjustments though we can make it look like a starry sky and that's what we're going to do right now. So we're going to click on this tab right here, Generated Media. And the first thing that I noticed to do, that I wanted to do, was just change this color to white. So we just click on this color box here and just drag that up into the corner. And that's going to be one of the first things we're going to do. Then we're just going to kind of play around with these settings. I think you can mix and match and mess around with these all you want. These are just the settings that I thought it gave me a good result so I'll just go through the settings that I used so under frequency X I have 5.1 for then this makes a fairly dense star field actually under Y I just have uh, 5.9 for offset I have both of these at 5 and I found it easier just to type in the numbers than to drag click and drag progress is at zero and then under the noise parameters min is at zero max stays at I have 0 0.05 here for max and you can kind of see what's happening up here in the window and then uh, for amplitude I have 1.4 this amplitude is one that you'll be probably playing around with quite a bit and for grain I have just a uh, 0.925 so actually I'm looking at some notes for that and this is kind of what I get right there I think is looking pretty good already so let me just double check I got all these settings right so we changed it to white uh, number of layers is 5 uh, 5 1 5 9 5 5 0 0 0.05 0 1.4 and 1.925 and that's all the settings that I did. Now if you print that out that doesn't look half bad but we're gonna go ahead and add a couple more effects to really bring this home I think. The next one we're gonna add is we're gonna add a couple effects here. I'm gonna suggest adding the color curves so we just double click that and the glow and I'll double click that and go OK. And now over here this is just I add just a slight S curve on this so on the color curves I'm just gonna click and drag that up a little bit and then I'm just going to pull down a little bit on the shadows, not too much, just a little bit, just to give it a little bit of contrast, a little bit more contrast. And then on the glow, what we're going to do there is I'm going to change it from the preset to white highlights. And then I'm going to keep this, I'm going to put this at zero, drag that all the way down. And the intensity I have at 5.4. So 5.4 for that. And that gives a nice random, and I guess you could bump this up if you want to need even more glow. But I had it, you know, like I said, you should play around with these settings. And then the suppression, I kept where it is. And that's pretty much it. There's one other effect that I think is good to do. Let me double check something here real fast. Oh, one thing I forgot to do, I forgot to mention, is if we go back in here under the media generator, I actually changed this black to a darker blue. So just if you, you can, and now you don't want it too blue, but just like a hint of dark blue, I noticed has a nice look to it. So just a little bit of blue. I think that's 0.12 up here, 0.12. So a little bit of blue gives it to me, gives it that little bit of, 
dark space look for some reason. Now the last step is if you hit Control Shift Q, we're going to add a track. We're going to go back into Media Generators and we are going to add which one is it? The standard turbulence. So which one is that one? This one. We're going to add this one to the top. Now there's your star field and you're done. Now, of course, this is just going to add some nice little texturing in there. You'll see this in a minute here. So this is the standard turbulence. And of course, we've got to, we're going to increase the layers all the way to five. And then here under color two, we're going to drag this down and just make it a transparent. So all we've got is black. And what this is, this is one of those settings that you can play around with. You kind of can see what it's doing right there. And you can just, I don't, there's no right or wrong here. I'm going to try to adjust this so you can see both the screen and everything at the same time. So what I have here for X, I actually have 3.6. And you can see what I, like I said, what it's doing right here. So this is just going to add a little bit of nice detail to our and here I have 5.1 under Y frequency. And the offset and all that, I leave the same. The min and the max are the same. And now these last three are the ones you can play around with because we want to back this effect off. So let me just, these I might just slide. So the bias, what we're wanting to add is just some subtle shading in there. So like I said, you can play around with the amplitude, weakens it so it just adds a subtle you know i would just drag these until you feel and you can kind of see up here like a little bit of so that was i want to bring it back so here i actually have 0.4 this is 2.4 2.4 and then the bias i actually have is i have negative 0 0.03 which is which is too much I, I that's way too much so i'm gonna back pull that back quite a bit and amplitude i just want a little bit of that blackness in there not a lot just tints of it really so i don't want that of course so just a little bit you can actually change this let's change this from turbulence to smooth I think that might give us a little better result. So let me play around with these sliders a little bit more here. So I'll put up the amplitude. There we go. I think it's better smooth. So under noise style, you should probably change that to smooth. And like I said, just have fun with this. I think this should just be a real subtle effect in here. Not too much, just to add, to break up the monotony of it. And that is pretty much it. So I'll print this out and hit save it usually as a JPEG. And you can kind of see what we ended up with here. And this is the final scene that we end up with, which I have, I've played around with some other software programs and this is actually a pretty good star fill. Now, if this is ends up being too dense for you, you can go back here to the frequencies under this tab here you can drop these values down and spread things out a little bit so i'll do that right now if you want to kind of just mix things up randomly by sh shifting progress you can also kind of just shift things around more randomly as well so i backed off the frequency there and i think that thinned out the star field a little bit so let me print that one out see what this one looks like that's number 20. Yeah, so just play around with it. I see some like, lines there, but it looks completely random. But I think it's a fairly realistic star fill that you can get out of it. So anyway, that's all I had for today. I hope you found this helpful. Thanks so much for watching.